Well, we've all seen hot water heaters before, but how many of you have ever seen one that was made from a barrel? Or in this case, two barrels, which is even better. They're just plain barrels, painted black and mounted on the roof where they can heat up in the sun. There's a pipe going in for cold water and a pipe going out for hot water. The hot water pipe usually comes out of the top. So this is just about the most simple hot water heating system that you will ever find. This system works great in very warm climates or in a summer house where it can be drained in the cold weather. This is a glass tube type collector with an integral solar hot water storage tank. The glass tubes are called heat pipes and they are highly efficient. This is a typical glass tube type heat pipe. There is a copper tube inside that is sealed in a vacuum. The copper tube is surrounded by selectively coated metal strips. The metal strips improve the efficiency of the glass tube collector by absorbing more sunlight. Here's another view alongside a fully assembled collector. Notice the copper bulb protruding from the left end of the glass tube collector. The bulb can achieve temperatures well over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The heated bulbs can be plugged either into a storage tank or a manifold. It depends on the type of system that you are using. The bulb can get over 300 degrees Fahrenheit in the sun and thus heating the water in the tank or in the manifold. Here is another cross section. Notice that this bulb is plugged directly into a manifold. This manifold carries antifreeze down into the basement of the home where it can be used for either hot water heating or for heating baseboard in the home or for heating a fan coil which would blow hot air into the home. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We'll get to the heating part later. Let's get back to the more simple solar hot water heater. This system is a typical thermosiphoning system, which means it does not have any pump or any control. The superheated fluid in the heat pipe tube rises up to the top of the tube where the copper bulb is. The cooler fluids move back down to the bottom. The superheated copper bulbs are protruding into the tank itself. They heat the water. This system does not require a solar pump or a solar controller. The water circulates by thermosiphoning and the pressure coming in from the home forces the hot water out and back directly into the hot water system. This does not work in freezing climates. Here is another view showing the various components of the system. The system can be roof mounted or ground mounted. And that concludes this lesson. This is Walt Barrett, and I'll see you next time.